Okay, just watch. Three, two, one. This is Thailand's May Clown Market. About an hour south of Bangkok, every day, starting at 6 a.m., a train runs through the Meklan Railway Market, one of the largest produce and seafood markets in the whole of Thailand. It runs through the stall selling fruits, the food, the fish, through everything. And if you're wondering what came first, the market or the train, then you need to watch this video. The Meklo Market, located just outside of Bangkok in Thailand, is one of the most iconic markets in the entire country. And it's also a market that many consider to be one of the most dangerous in the world. This place is mayhem. There are so many people, so many people everywhere. And the fact that there's a train in the middle of a roll, it's, it's unbelievable. They stop, they stop traffic, they stop the market, everything stops so the train can pass. The Meklon Railway Company built a commuter train to Bangkok back in 1905. The track they laid ran right through the middle of this market, which had been around for decades. Rather than moving, the vendors stayed put, adjusting their business to the train times. Eight times a day, seven days a week, three minutes before the train arrives, the alarm sounds, letting everyone know it's showtime. In a rehearsed routine, shopkeepers quickly remove their products from the tracks and pull back their parasols. This system has been perfected over the years, with produce just inches away from the train's wheels. Tourists and vendors wait as the train passes through. Then everything goes back to normal, as if it had never happened, only for the whole process to be repeated two hours later. Today, we'll be exploring this incredible market to discover what makes it so unique. It's, it's crazy how quickly they take everything off and then put it back on when the train's coming. It's amazing. It literally takes him about 30 seconds to do it each way. And the whole place operates like that all through the day. Nuts. The easiest way to visit the micro market is to book a day tour with one of the local tour agencies in Bangkok. Most tours will take you in a van to the Van Kalong railway station, which is about an hour west of Bangkok, and from here, you board a famous train that takes you into the market. We just stopped halfway through our journey to the railway market. We're now waiting to board the train, which apparently is 65 year old train, so it could be several minutes late or several minutes early. They have no idea, so we just wait, see what happens. But in the meantime, we're next to this small little town, village, whatever you want to call it, that specializes in salt. I don't know if you see behind me, there's these big stars or salt lines but they evaporate water. Oh, the train is coming. We actually booked our tour through Go City Bangkok. They offer a Bangkok City Pass that gives you unlimited access to activities and tourist attractions during a five day period. We ended up doing 16 different tours and activities with Go City Pass and saved a few hundred hours. If you're visiting Bangkok for a few days only, we highly recommend buying the Go City Pass. We'll leave their information in the description below. Visiting Bangkok has been a fantastic experience for us. 
After three months of living and exploring in this amazing city, we're ready to share our adventures with you. Everything from beautiful temples to crazy markets and everything in between. As a matter of fact, our next video is about visiting the Damoen Seduac floating market and how much fun we had over there. Make sure you subscribe to our channel today so you won't miss that video and all of our other adventures around the world. All right, so we made it to the railway market. Getting here in between the train and the market and the people was such a tight squeeze. I almost felt like we were gonna hit people and hurt them. And me just looking out of the window, I was scared that something was gonna hit me. Yeah, so it was crazy. The Michael Market has two sides to it. On the one hand, you have the regular market, which is also called Maiklon, and this is where you find all the traditional street food vendors and food stalls that you find in pretty much every other market around Thailand. As a matter of fact, walking around, you probably could not tell it apart from any other market you might find in Bangkok. The main difference between the inside market and the railway market is that inside is where you find all the vendors that actually pay taxes and pay rent for their stalls. Unlike the ones that line up along the railway tracks, these are here so they don't have to pay any rent or taxes. This would technically make it an illegal market, but they've been doing it for so long, over a century now, that it's just become normal. Stretching over 400 feet in length and located right alongside the Mekelon River, which is one of the longest and most important rivers in Thailand, this market quickly grew to become the largest within the Samud Somkran province. By the end of the 19th century, the small province of Samud Somkran had already established itself as the leader in Thai salt production and was well known for producing the best bananas, mangoes, jackfruit and even apples in the whole of Thailand. Since then, the Maiklon market has been the hub for buying, selling, and the distribution of all these produce. So to answer the question of what came first, the market or the train, it was the market by a few decades. Fishing has always been, and still is, one of the main sources of income for the people that live around here, and the market is a perfect way for them to sell their goods. In recent years, this interesting market got the attention of different tour agencies that started offering guided tours to visit the market. Today, this is one of Bangkok's busiest tourist destinations. It is crazy to think that a moment ago, we were on a train that was actually going through here right now. If you didn't know any better, you would think we are, this is very, low ceiling so I have to be careful <laughs> I don't hit myself in the head but right now if you didn't know any better you would think we're going through any art market anywhere in Bangkok but in about seven minutes from now another train is gonna get through here and this whole thing is gonna be dismantled put away so the train can pass and then put back together again unbelievable The market is mostly empty throughout the day, except for when the train is about to come when you see large groups of tourists arriving to see the infamous train run through the market. Visiting the Maiklon market turned out to be a very interesting and unique experience that allowed us to see a more local, everyday side of Thailand. But if you really want to experience Thailand at her best, then you really need to visit Icon CM, Bangkok's luxury mega mall. Icon CM totally blew our expectations. In this giant mega mall, you'll be able to find everything from the most expensive designer stores to some of the best street food in the whole of Bangkok. You should be able to find the link for that right here. 
I'm glad you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.